Positive pressure ventilation is indicated when the newborn is apneic or gasping, has a heart rate at less than 100 beats per minute, and or saturation remains below target values despite supplemental oxygen. In this section, we will explain how a flow inflating bag works and how to use it. The flow inflating bag is also called an anesthesia bag. A pressure gauge registers the amount of pressure being used to ventilate the newborn and helps you avoid excessive pressures. The pressure gauge measures the amount of inspiratory pressure when you give a breath and can also measure the end expiratory pressure, which is the amount of air pressure remaining in the system at the end of a breath. This end expiratory pressure is called PEEP. When the newborn is being ventilated, and CPAP when the newborn is breathing spontaneously. The pressure gauge may be attached here, or the gauge may be built into the bag, positioned between the patient outlet and the neck of the bag. If your flow inflating bag has a connecting site for a pressure gauge, a gauge must be attached to the site. If the gauge is absent, the attachment site must be occluded with a plug or the site will be a source of leak and the bag will not inflate properly. The flow control valve provides an adjustable leak that allows you to regulate the pressure in the bag when the bag is connected to an endotracheal tube or the mask is held tightly on the patient's face. The adjustable opening provides an additional outlet for the incoming gas and allows excess gas to escape rather than overinflate the bag or be forced into the patient. A flow inflating bag fills only when the gas from a compressed source flows into it. The flow inflating bag is collapsed like a deflated balloon when not in use. Notice what happens when the gas source is turned to 10 liter per minute. The bag inflates only when a gas source is forced into the bag and the opening of the bag is sealed, as when the mask is placed tightly against the newborn's face or against your palm to check the function of the bag prior to a birth. Give a few test breaths to ensure that the bag fills with no evidence of a leak or a tear. First, adjust the PEEP or end expiratory pressure. The flow is 10 liters per minute. The bag is fully inflated. Adjust the flow control valve to achieve the desired PEEP, which is usually 2 to 5 centimeter H2O. Now, we'll set our inspiratory pressure by squeezing the bag and noting the peak inspiratory pressure on the pressure gauge. The peak pressure is adjusted by squeezing the bag. Further adjustments may be needed when you start to ventilate the newborn. The bag needs to be approximately half inflated during ventilation. If the bag is too inflated, decrease the gas flow or open the flow control valve. If the bag is not inflated enough, increase the gas flow or tighten the flow control valve. This bag can also be used to administer CPAP and free flow oxygen.